Hey everybody, it's Techno here. Today I'm going to show you the Kitakami Ogre Clan side quest in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's The Teal Mask DLC. You can start off by flying over to the Kitakami Hall and speak to the gentleman nearby. He will teach you about the Kitakami Ogre Clan, a group of seven very strong trainers scattered across Kitakami. Upon defeating each one, he will award you with special gifts. Let it be known that these trainers are pretty darn strong, so I recommend having a team of Pokemon level 75 and above. Also, stick around to the end for a question that I'd love to see if anybody knows the answer to. Not far away, you'll find the first trainer from the clan. Hop over the nearby ledge and make your way to the small tuft of bamboo trees down here. This trainer is Masamune, and they specialize in fairy-type Pokemon. They lead with a Grimmsnarl, who likes to set up Reflect. Just north of there, you can fly over to the Fallen Horn and mark this nearby spot. Over on this small piece of land, you'll find Hasebe, who specializes in a Rain Team. They lead with Politoed with the Drizzle ability. Fly over to Masui Town and mark the spot just north of the city where the waterfall reaches ground level. Here, you'll find a cave with the third trainer, Raikiri, who specializes in electric-type Pokémon. They lead with a Raichu who uses Thunder Wave and will set up the light screens. For the next trainer, you can fly to the Crystal Pool and mark this specific spot nearby. Just across the Arch Bridge, you'll find this large sand mound, and on the backside there's a small entrance to a cave. There's a long, long drop in here, but don't worry, you'll land safely in a very large open room here. In this room, you'll find the fourth trainer, Kotetsu, who specializes in fighting-type Pokémon. They lead with Heracross, who likes to use close combat. Fly back to the Crystal Pool, but this time, mark this large landmass to the northeast that protrudes out of the side of Oni Mountain. You're going to have to make your way over there and climb a little bit using the game's horrible climbing features, but you'll get there and you'll find overlooking the beautiful Kitakame, the fifth trainer, Munachika, who specializes in normal types. They lead with an Ambipom who likes to use Fake Out. Fly over to the Infernal Pass and on the northwest side of the mountain, you'll find a very small lake. In this tiny, secluded area, you'll encounter the sixth trainer, Kunisuna, who specializes in rock and ice-type Pokémon. They lead with a Carbink, who doesn't do a whole lot of anything. The final trainer is found by flying to the Paradise Barrens and visiting the enclosed northern area. Just south of this boulder, you'll find Kanemitsu, who specializes in a sun team. They lead with a Ninetales with the Drought ability, and they have a full team of Pokémon that takes advantage of that. Once you've defeated all seven, revisit the Kitakami Hall and speak with the same guy from before. He'll grant you seven rewards, one for each trainer. The first reward is going to be a Focus Sash, then five XP candies, an Assault Vest, ten Rare Candies, a pair of Choice Specs, three Ability Capsules, and lastly, a choice band. If you've beaten all seven trainers, he will reveal that he was the secret boss of the Kitakame Ogre Clan the whole time, and challenges you to a battle. This guy is Muramasa, and he specializes in the Ghost and Dark type Pokemon. Upon defeating him, he will explain that the Kitakame Ogre Clan exists to help kids in the region get stronger, and that they just love to battle. He will grant you with a very sought-after ability patch. And this completes the quest. I have a question, as I mentioned before, for any Japanese speakers or weebs out there. It's noticeable that the names of all these trainers are of Japanese influence, but I did notice that the third trainer's name is Raikiri, and I'm aware that Rai in Japanese deals with electricity or thunder, like Raiku. Is there a meaning in the other members of the clan's name in relation to their team themes? Let me know in the comments. And as always guys, Techno's out.